marriage because I married two women? Am I the first person? People have been marrying 17 wives on half. Am I the first person? They were giving me a headache. I almost died. Did, did, you, did, did, did you ask them? Didn't you ask them? Any little thing fight. They will bring bottle. They will bring TV. They will bring... These two people, didn't you ask them? I don't want to marry again. Maybe I went to the, I went to your place. I went to your own place. I paid for... I don't want again. Take plus the money. Take everything. I don't want. I'm not doing again. This thing will be on strike. I'm not doing. Odogo Biko. Odogo Biko. Butu. Biko Butu. I agree with you. Udogu also needs peace. Yes. Tell them, Udogu will not die before his time. Well, I give Udogu too much pressure, he will die. Udogu will be buried. I don't want. I did. I told them. And now they have seen that war and peace, they don't go together. Now they know, right? Yes. Udogu, Biko. Udogu, Biko. In this video, we delve into the topic of polygamy in the Bible with a focus on what God truly says about it. Join us as we explore the lives of biblical fathers such as David and Solomon who practiced polygamy and uncover the truth about God's view on marriage. Is polygamy permissible in the eyes of God? Let's find out together. Remember, it is important to study the Word of God diligently and not twist the gospel to fit our own desires. Watch now to gain a better understanding of this controversial issue. In this video, we delve into the topic of polygamy in the Bible with a focus on what God truly says about it. Join us as we explore the lives of biblical fathers such as David and Solomon who practiced polygamy and uncover the truth about God's view on marriage. Yola Dochi and Judy Austin, who did God permit in the Bible to marry more than one wife? Please be careful about twisting the gospel. Study to approve yourself. Was polygamy permissible for biblical fathers? And if it was, is it permissible for us? The ugly truth is that many of the heroes in the Old Testament were polygamists. To answer these questions, we need to determine one thing. Are these passages about polygamy prescriptive or descriptive? Is polygamy prescriptive? The short answer is no. Here's why. God never commands or condones polygamy in Scripture. God also condemns it. In Deuteronomy 17, God gives instructions for the future kings of Israel, and he specifically condemns taking on many wives. He shall not multiply wives for himself, or else his heart will turn away. 17, 17. In other words, God wasn't okay with David and Solomon having multiple wives, and they disobeyed his commands. What does God prescribe for marriage? Monogamy. From the very beginning, God said marriage was one man and one woman, becoming one flesh for lifetime gen 2 24 we can deduce this from the fact that god only gave adam one wife not multiple monogamy was also jesus view when asked a question about divorce being permissible jesus argued that god intended marriage to be lifelong and monogamous matt 19 8 for this reason a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife and the two shall become one flesh so they are no longer two but one flesh what therefore God has joined together, let no man separate. Matt 19, 4-6, two become one flesh. Therefore, God prescribed monogamy and not polygamy. In short, polygamy is described as having devastating consequences for those who practice it and for those born as a result of it. Jacob's firstborn son, Reuben, by his first wife, Leah, had sex with Bilhah, Jacob's concubine, Gen 35, 22. David's son Amnon raped his half-sister Tamar and was then killed by Tamar's full brother Absalom, 2 Sam 13. Absalom then tried to seize the throne from his father David and had sex with David's concubines, 2 Sam 16, 22. Solomon had 700 wives, princesses, and 300 concubines, and his wives turned his heart away, 1 Kings 11, 3. Yuladoshi welcomed polygamy and lost his son mysteriously. These descriptions are sad reminders that polygamy is sin and has destructive consequences. So, how should we view the patriarchs of the Old Testament who practiced polygamy? First, we must recognize that polygamy is described as something they practiced, but never as something God prescribed. We should view these men as they are described, flawed human beings who sinned immensely, that God still loved and worked through. This should encourage us because we all are sinners glad God works with flawed people like you and me. But make no mistake, polygamy is not and has never been intended by God. 
In conclusion, God did not tell any of the Bible fathers to marry more than one wife. There is a popular Nigeria proverb that says, who the gods want to kill, they first make him mad. The Bible also says pride goes before a fall. Children obey your parents so that, that your days would be longer on the earth. This is the only commandment in the Bible that comes with the promise of longevity. Any child who disobeys his parents would surely die prematurely. This is why Yule Dochi needs to listen to the instruction of his parents. It is so bad for a child to outgrow his parents simply because he thinks he has become so rich and famous that he does not need the counsel of his parents. We don't despise the power of a spell. Spells are so strong to the extent that those under them become like puppets in the hands of their manipulators. Yula Dochi, if you are not under any form of witchcraft manipulation because you act like you are under witchcraft influence, but if it's not love portion, then would we say that you are so senseless and so heartless? We do not judge you based on what we heard, but we do judge you based on what we see you manifesting on the social media with regards to how you handled your marriage and family affair. No Nigerian man has ever manifested this degree of stupidity publicly. Coming from a celebrity like you was so embarrassing. How do you allow yourself to be brought down by Delilah? In less than two years, your glory has diminished, as though there was none in the first place. From that instant, you entered a covenant of marriage with Judy, and in just about two years, you have lost your son, Kami Bilichuku, your union with your wife. May is almost dissolving completely. You do not have access to your children. The Nollywood industry does no longer find you appealing for movie roles. You go about accusing your wife, May, for all your misfortune, but yet you do not see the enemy standing before you who is Judy Austin and the enemy within you. By this I mean your mindset, your thought pattern, your imagination. Rumors has it that Judy Austin has a spiritual husband, and that spiritual husband of hers brings down any man that she entangles herself with in the physical realm. That is, in just about two years you officiated a marriage with Judy, all your glory started going down the drain. Spiritually, you have been made to be so blinded that you cannot even see the source of your predicaments. Please let the pride of life not earn you premature death. We encourage you to seek true deliverance and set your soul free from the pride of life. Yula Dochi, let the devil not use you to twist the truth about the gospel on the issues relating to monogamy, polygamy, and divorce. Please stop the show-off of the idea that God ordained polygamy because he did not. Read your Bible correctly. You have made countless efforts to have close family relations to beg May for you, but she is not willing to accept you back in her life. May your wife may never come back to you. Love, share, and subscribe to our channel. Finally, as we come to the end of our video, how many young women are willing to stay in a polygamous marriage which began with the loss of her first son or any child in that matter? Truly this life is so spiritual to the point that there are certain actions that cannot be explained. You just need to go your way when you see such signs. So for people asking Mei Adochi to go back to her marriage, I ask you again. If you were in her shoes, would you stay in such a toxic and no trust kind of marriage? at the risk of your own life? What if that arrow that shut Kambalichuku was meant but for May? What if she is the next person to suddenly kpai if she remains in that marriage? Her enemy did not come to share her home with her. Her enemy came to replace her. So Kambalichuku's sign was and still a strong signal and message to her. Divorce is the best thing that can happen to Meidochi to save her life from sudden kpai. Only the wise can understand the meaning of this message. I pray for all my viewers not to be numbered in marriage. God intended marriage for two to become one, and not three, four, five, six, to become one. Eve was made for Adam alone by God himself. That means God ordained only monogamy, even though many people choose to practice polygamy. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share, and like for more informative